Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your singles love reading for Leo. How are you guys? I'm going to do something fun. I'm going to use both of my favorite romantic decks and I always forget the name of these. <laughs> the Oracle of E. There's my clue. I haven't used them much for a very long time. They're fun, so I'm going to end this reading off with those. All right. Leo, let's see where you're at. New love connections for single Leos. Single Leos getting to know each other. Okay, nice. So you have somebody you're getting to know or going to. Oh, romantic feelings worth waiting for and let your friends help you. So yeah, your friends may set you up with someone. They may help you get to know somebody. There could be some uh, developing feelings, but it's telling you to kind of take it slow, take the time to get to know this person a little bit, okay? Now they might be a little slower moving than you, okay? They like to take a little bit more time possibly. So you, you may meet this through friends or family because somebody, they're going to help you, okay? And they're probably gonna tell you to just kind of wait a little bit. Yeah, just be patient, I feel, is what it's telling you. Divine timing is working in your favor. Some of you actually could be waiting for someone. Okay, you may have already met someone and you're waiting to get to know them more. I see dating. This is kind of like the Three of Cups energy. Yeah, you may meet this person in your community. Some of you may be getting out. There's definitely some romantic feelings. Yeah, just trust your intuition. Something's coming. Oh, yeah, you have a... You have an offer coming in. Wow. You have someone here who <laughs> is kind of keeping to themselves. It could be a secret admirer or you're just keeping things to yourself. It's telling you don't, maybe some of you shouldn't talk to too many people about this. Just kind of keep it to yourself. Yeah, so there's, a, there's that energy. Wow, really nice. So yeah, I feel as though you have someone who definitely... Uh, maybe it's you who wants to take it slow and this person feels you're worth waiting for. So I do feel as though you're going to just trust your intuition here. Kind of keep your feelings to yourself a little bit. You're going to keep it a little bit. I'm going to wait a little. I think it's you're making them wait by the looks of it. Yeah, there you are, Leo. Yeah, you're being very confident. <laughs> Yeah, this person finds you attractive. So I do feel like you're very focused. You want to make sure they're focused on you. You want to take the time to get to know them. Make sure they're not hiding anything, any secrets if they're dating other people. There's definitely some romantic feelings. Really nice. Whoops, there we go. Yeah, I do see this a lot of texting, talking, back and forth. Uh, I do feel this person really wants things to move forward. Really nice. All right, there we go. Yeah, they're going to come in very quickly. Uh, this person wants to romance you. There's a lot of romantic feelings they're keeping to themselves. Eventually, they're going to uh, tell you. I think the two of you are going to... Uh, <laughs> this is definitely worth waiting for. Look at that. Yeah, a lot. I, I see this as a lot of chemistry. A lot. And I think this person is uh, eventually just going to reach out and talk to you. They may connect with you when you're out in your community somewhere. They may be waiting for you to show up someplace where you go. Regular. They could be, like I say, a secret admirer waiting for the right moment. And I do feel like it's going to happen very quickly. I see a lot of romance here. A lot. I see a lot of passion. A lot of energy. You're going to see this person more than once, definitely. Uh, you're going to, I think you're going to take a little bit of time before you move towards that physical connection because I feel like you're going to make this this person wait and you are worth waiting for. They're going to tell you that. I think you're going to be very shocked at who this person is. I see Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Libra. Very strong Pisces energy. So yeah, I would keep it to yourself though. I would definitely not tell too many people yet just keep it to yourself until you have that solid offer because uh, i do feel this person definitely sees your worth and your value there's no doubt i think you're going to be very surprised at who it is if you don't already know tell me about getting to know each other yeah someone yeah so i do see some kind of um oh yeah somebody wants to get your attention so this person is definitely i see a sagittarius leo possibly 
heading in your direction. This someone is a little bit of a free spirit. Their ego is getting in the way a little bit, but I feel like they're planning success with you. So I think they're going to give you a lot of attention. I can see this person definitely. Make sure they're not just looking for attention, okay? That they're focused just on you and not someone else. Make sure they're not keeping secrets. Like I feel like that's what will be on your mind when you meet this person. You're just going to be a little cautious, but you're very confident. And I do think that this will move forward. I actually feel this is going to go quite well. Some of you are just trusting your intuition. It's gonna, it's your intuition's gonna kick in. You're gonna get those little downloads. Take the time. Don't rush into it. Okay. See it as an adventure. That's okay. You can live in the moment, but take some time. Yeah. There's that temperance, tempering your passions, your emotions here. <laughs> it's telling you to tone it down a little. Make sure this person's balancing head over heart. Make sure they're right for you. I definitely see a Sag. Somebody here. I think this person. Now, I, I seen this in Sage's reading or Aries, and I can't remember which fire sign now, but it was very similar energy. And I think this is someone who either comes into your workplace or they hang out where you hang out and they're waiting for you to come to go back there. Uh, I feel as though this person's planning success. They want to have success. There's definitely some chemistry. They, you are different than their usual type, and I think this person's going to do things different, or it's telling you to do things different than you've done before. Stay in your Empress energy. Wow. You're not chasing somebody here, that's for sure. They're having to come and chase you. <laughs> this is someone who probably gets a lot of attention. They're not used to worth, no, they're not used to chasing. Yeah, so there it is. Make sure, yeah, they... Be patient. Don't, don't offer this person all of yourself. Be kind and be compassionate. They, they, they see you as the Queen of Cups, loving and nurturing and caring. Your friends are probably telling you. You may even hear something from someone where this person cares about you and they want to approach you. You're going to keep it to yourself when they come in. You're not going to tell them that their friends may have ratted them out <laughs> or vice versa. Yeah, you may travel in the same social circle. You may know each other's friends or something here but yeah and this is we your friends are probably going to tell you make them work for it make them earn your respect okay this could be somebody at work don't talk to people at work about this there may be someone there that this person knows so it's telling you to kind of keep it to yourself i think you're going to you're going to uh you're not gonna you're not gonna give this person all of your attention or anything until you're sure what they want you want this person to show you right they want you want them to earn your respect right and uh, you want to make sure they're not hiding anything because that's what I feel. You're, there's that be careful what you wish for, right? Making sure they don't have a mask or not hiding anything, you know. And I feel like it's yourself. You're going to kind of, <laughs> because you're feeling this way, you're only going to offer a little bit. You're not offering them all of yourself. You are going to try something different. I do think you're going to be very kind and compassionate. I think you're going to... Uh, you know, show this person you care, but I, I feel you're going to stay in that Empress energy. Yeah, they, they definitely do see your worth. And they I think it's them who's got that be careful what they wish for feeling as well. They're not so sure you're going to accept this. I do see this person talking to you. I see a lot of talk, a lot of text, a lot of communication. Yeah, they're going to take it slow. And this is what how you know if someone has respect for you. They take the time to get to know you. Uh, they plan for success. And how they do that is, is they take their time at your request. They're going to ask you questions about yourself. They're going to pay attention to the details when you're talking, when you're communicating. Right? That's what you, it's all in the details. So really nice. Yeah, this is going to go in your favor. Okay, they're going to do whatever you want. I feel this person is going to do things right because they want things to go in their favor. This person really adores you. Uh, I can see that energy, Leo. And I think that you're feeling pretty confident. <laughs> you're very confident there. Maybe not quite so much, right? A little bit cautious. They're only going to offer one cup at first till they see what happens. Uh, they're going to take their time with you so everything keeps moving forward. But it's actually going to go in your favor. They see you as the wheel of fortune. And, and you know, they feel, they could, this could be someone who says, you know what, you've met, you may have met them. You were kind and compassionate. You're different than their usual type. I don't think this person is used to having, I think this is someone who's used to being chased, maybe because they're successful, possibly. 
And I feel they're not used to someone who's loving and nurturing and caring, somebody who puts effort in, which is how they see you. Because you, you may be the one that actually, you know, uh, reaches out to this person. It's quite possible you could be the one that kind of breaks the ice, puts in that initial effort, and then you go into that Empress energy. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, they, they, I think they're going to tell you they feel fortunate to have met you. Uh, I think they really uh, like you a lot. So tell me about this Empress energy. Yeah, you're definitely staying in that power. Empress energy, yeah. So there they are. New beginning, Leo. There you are. Yeah, they see you as, as a new beginning. They see you very clearly. They're going to make themselves very clear. They feel your worth, your value. They, and I feel they're going to be telling you some very passionate things. Like just, They're just going to put a lot of passion and energy into their talking. And I feel as though, wow, they really want to start something with you. They're going to express themselves completely, fully. They will open up. So that's nice. Yeah, this is moving towards emotional fulfillment. Really nice. Wow. Yeah, you, you feel, you're feel you going to feel pretty confident about this. You're going to make sure they are focused on you because if they aren't, you will walk away. And I do think you're going to express yourself. Uh, you're going to sh show them that you're confident. Like if they, you know, if they don't want to express themselves, they don't want to really start something. If you feel they're going too slow, you're probably going to let them know that you'll just move on towards another person. And that's what I, I actually feel this person is going to get that. When you communicate something around that lines with this person, uh, I feel it's going to kind of make them like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. They, I think they, they lack a little confidence or shy. They kind of, they have that, they have that false, the false mask on, offering one cup, nothing more, right? Because they're being careful what they wish for. But it's also giving you that warning. Don't, don't be too overly confident, but, you know, balance yourself out. Balancing head over heart. Uh, look at things from, a, you know, this person. Make sure they're actually right for you first. Take the time which the readings always say, yeah. So I see this moving forward, growing closer, getting to know each other. They could be at a distance. There could be some travel involved here. Some of you may even fly to see this person or vice versa. But yeah, they want to get to know you more. I see a lot of communication moving forward, moving into calmer waters. Just keep it cool. Keep calm. Don't, uh, yeah, don't be overly confident is what it says. But don't be afraid to communicate. I do think you're going to want to get to know this person more. I do. And I think you're going to tell them you want to take it slow. If you, I think you want to take it slow, but I think you want to do it in a balanced manner. Like, you know, you want to spend time with them because you want to get to know them. So you want it to move along at a slow and steady race, but you don't want to just leap into anything because I'm not seeing that leap at all here. If they go too slow though, like that's not balanced. Eight of Wands. Why is this person here? Yeah, you want something balanced here. You don't want it to be, you know, uh, all in their favor, where if they want to go really slow and you're like, no, <laughs> you're going to express yourself. I don't think they do. I think you're the one that's going to want to go slow, um, you know, within reason. But what you're going to do is pay attention to how they uh, talk to you, how they communicate. Are they asking you about you? Do they really want to get to know you? Or are they just looking for attention? And that's what you're going to be watching here. Yeah, so you're very much being cautious. You're staying very grounded. You're being very calm. You're very gracious, I feel. They do see you as marriage material. Uh, I do think that you're going to have to maybe just don't be too aggressive or too intense, Leo, whatever you do. Not saying you are, um, but balance yourself. Temper, temper that need to reach out too much and give them too much, okay? Don't give them all of you. Uh, make this person uh, work for you. And I do think you need to just be calm, be grounded, be practical. Uh, I think this person needs a little confidence too as it builds to open up. You will make them feel comfortable. I actually think they're going to tell you you make them comfortable. Um, once you've had a couple of dates, I see a few dates happening. This person is going to put a lot of effort into it for two or three dates or so. Uh, if you start to feel a little like something's off, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with them. Tell them how you feel. Okay, that's what it's saying. Uh, they may be different than you. They may, you know, uh, move towards relationships different. I do see a little earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
energy yeah so this person yeah you've got a sag energy it looks like a strong sag it doesn't have to be leo they could be another leo they could be a scorpio uh, cancer or pisces Aries, leo sag yeah maybe even an aries for some of you it's hard to say uh, they definitely know what they want they're coming out they're going to tell you they want you they uh, they do, they are somebody who's used to being chased. I do feel they could be a business owner, you know, someone who's very focused on career and finance is very creative, but when they want something, they go after it. So I think this, <laughs> you make this person feel comfortable. If you're not comfortable with them, the way things are moving, tell them, okay? Because if you don't, it'll come crashing down, okay? And I think, I think that's one of your fears. I think that's you having a little bit of fear that this isn't going to go anywhere. It's going to end as fast as it starts. So it's saying to just take the time. If they're willing to do that, I think they want you. I think they're willing to do whatever you want. Uh, I just think you need to communicate it because they don't know what you want unless you communicate it. Don't keep your feelings to yourself to the point where you don't share if you're feeling a little insecure or you're something you're not comfortable with. Okay, if they're at a distance and it makes you uncomfortable, let them know. Tell me about, yeah, so there's that cancer energy. Yeah. So I do see this person. They, they definitely are coming towards you. I see them coming to pick you up, take you out. I see this moving forward. They're a little bit, I think they're more cautious. Uh, they're going to come in with a bit of an ego, <laughs> okay? So be a little easy on their ego. Like, don't, you know, don't try to control things too much. I think this person knows not to control things too much. I actually, and I think that goes for both of you, but I see a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry here between the two of you. You both may be trying something different than each other, like different with this person, with each other, because you want it to work. And I think if you do, you need to not tell everybody, especially if you work in the same place, don't tell everyone at work. Keep it to excuse me keep it to yourself i do see do see romance i see a date i think this person's going to romance you and i think they're very determined uh, they know exactly what they want yeah so there they are so they are i, I feel as a you're a little bit afraid of this person if they are at a distance and they live far from you i feel like you might have to express to this person that it makes you uncomfortable you're afraid they're not going to be faithful okay uh, but it's telling you to have faith in this, okay? And I feel, yeah, I, I, I think there's something here. There's things that you both need to learn about each other. Like, that's what it's saying. Take the time to get to know each other. Make sure that you are right before you give too much of yourself or you put too much effort in. Make sure that they, they only have eyes for you. All right, Leo? That's what I feel. I feel like they do, but I, I feel like you're worried. If there is a distance and they're at a distance, you're worried they're not going to be faithful. Tell this person your fears. Do not keep them to yourself. I think this person, you know, there may have been gossip. Maybe you heard some gossip that they weren't faithful in a relationship or a marriage. And you've been holding it to yourself and you may hear something. Talk to them about it. Don't lose control of the situation. Don't rush away from this person until you talk to them and express yourself. I feel there's going to be some kind of, you're, I feel as though you're, like you want to live in the moment, you want to go for it, but it, that little nagging thing, and that's going to be telling you to ask the questions. If something's bothering you and you're not uncomfortable with it, tell them, and I think they're going to tell you. Okay, I do. I, I, they're going to actually say, probably say that to you. I, I don't think this person is afraid to take charge or take the lead at all. But I think that uh, you have a fear, few fears. Maybe they do. Maybe they've heard some gossip about you. Okay. <laughs> work gossip by the looks of it. This person could work in a business in your community. You may have worked with them or you do work with them. Tell me more about the Hierophant. I do see a Taurus energy about faith, tradition, habits, belief, behavior, the way they conduct themselves. They're faster. So you, I'm going to tell you, some of you might even have a couple of energies here. If you've got somebody who's slower and somebody who's faster, uh, or there's that contradiction where one of you wants to go slow and one of you wants to go fast, you got to compromise. you both got to do what's right. It can't go all in one person's favor. So make sure it isn't somebody where they want everything their way. Um, 
I think they want, they're, they're going to give you what you want here. This person's determined. Tell me about Taurus. There we are. Yeah, so I do feel there's this a little bit guarded. You're a little bit guarded. It's telling you to take your guard down a little bit. Yeah. Make sure you're, you know, not afraid to stand up and speak what you say what you need to say though because i see that scenario very strongly if there's something you're if they are at a distance communicate with this person so things move forward calmly and peacefully say you want to get to know them a bit more i see travel and movement i see this person coming over suddenly coming to see you i see you making them very comfortable I see a lot of talk, a lot of communication. They may want to move too fast for you, and you've done that before in your life. You're going to do something different. I think they are too. I, I think they're going to go slow. I don't know. I almost feel like you both kind of uh, are doing something different that you've not done before when it comes to the fact that you're connecting because I think this person really wants you. I really think they want to start something. Uh, they do... Uh, definitely have a lot of fire and a lot of passion there's definitely that really because uh, that tower sometimes is huge chemistry but i feel as though if they push you too hard you may end things i think they know it this is somebody who rushes in too quick and loses control or they drive too fast make sure they're not drinking and driving uh, it's telling you to if they if this is somebody who has a few drinks or something uh, don't let them drive uh, you may not be comfortable with that too. There's just something you're going to be talking about. But yeah, watch the drinking and driving. Yeah, a little caution there. But I actually feel, because you want somebody who's responsible here, you got a little bit of your guard up. You need to take your guard down. See, this person, and I think too, somebody here needs to drop the baggage, okay? Drop, drop it so that you can lift each other up here. You got You both need to drop that. Uh, those fears and have faith in this connection and I, I I think there's been some gossip you're gonna hear something don't keep it to yourself if you have heard that talk to this person about it see what they got to say yeah so bring it they're gonna be heading towards you pretty quick I I think this person's gonna come on really strong the only thing I see is you not being too comfortable uh, with it you may just want to be a companion kind of get to know them maybe go hang out go for a drive things like that if they try to control things and have things their way they will lose out yeah i got your back yeah no this person wants you <laughs> i i actually feel this person's got you they're going to let go of something here i wonder if they're the ones with, that are that's a bit guarded a little defensive Sometimes this is that believer card. There's something here that you may be careful what you believe if you hear gossip that this person wasn't faithful or vice versa. Something to do with that faith being on the same page. Maybe you're not sure you're on the same page or you want to get on the same page so you need a little bit time. Yeah, they're they're all in. This person's all in. I'm telling you, they're all about you. Just there's some fears though. Yeah, the heartbeat. <laughs> Pitter patter. There's that chemistry that this person, I'm going to tell you, when you connect and talk, uh, if you are inviting them to your house or they invite you to theirs, uh, that, that could be what you're talking about. You may rather have them at your house, okay, or go a place where you choose, whatever it is where you're more comfortable. They're going to do whatever makes you comfortable is what I feel. Yeah. I, I think you got somebody who doesn't want to lose control. They're, they are very much in control of their emotions, but I actually think the two of you are going to have a pretty good time. So, yeah, they're at your service. They're going to do whatever you want. Live wire, yeah. So this person's pretty active. This is crazy. I love these cards for that because it really brings out that... That it's the energy of the king of wands i mean leo let's face it you like that fiery passionate nature and you need somebody who meets you halfway now, there's definitely going to be chemistry i do see it there's a definite look at that romantic feelings right but you want to make sure they're right for you like they need to have other things not just chemistry there's other things that are important too so beautiful I'm going to pull out one more for that wheel of fortune tell me about the wheel of fortune yeah bazinga uh, it's going to go in your way. This, uh, you know, this person definitely, they see you as the wheel of fortune. You're going to get what you want. And I think it's going to happen quite quickly. 
with this person. I don't know where you're meeting them. I mean, you could be on a trip traveling and you could be at a distance from each other. So it may take time to get to know each other because there's traveling and distance. That could be an issue. That could be a little bit of thing you're worried that if they're not around that they won't be faithful. Talk to them about it so things move forward calmly and peacefully. Yeah, so this pick up after yourself. Yeah, so make sure that basically is saying if you want to make sure things go in your favor and you want to know something, find that strength, that confidence, okay, to communicate that. So basically it's up to you. You have to take that responsibility upon yourself to make sure you're on the same page, that you both want the same things. And that's what I think your, your intuition is going to be telling you. Be careful what you wish for if you hide your own feelings, emotions, or if something's bothering you, you're not, you're not comfortable with something the way they are, let them know right away. Don't wait until the tower comes down. Because uh, I think you're going to have somebody who's going to give you whatever you want. All right. So just take your guard down a little bit. I do feel that, you know, there's something here that you need to let go of that you're holding on to with the seven of wands. It's maybe some old relationship baggage, some fears, afraid things, you know, you're going to lose control. I actually feel the two of you are, there's going to be romance. And I do feel if they want to come to your house, you might be afraid. If there's a lot of chemistry, you're going to lose control. And uh, yeah, there may be, uh, things may move too quickly. So you might be a bit worried about that. So let them know and tell them you want to take things slow. Let this person know before you invite them over, basically, is what it's saying. I, They're going to give you what you want. Don't even worry about it. They're a live wire, but this person's uh, a mature. Uh, yeah, starting from scratch, they're going to do something different. This is someone who's going to do things different than before. Okay, they're going to stay grounded. They're going to do things. This is, you might even know this person. Maybe, you, maybe you've already dated them. I don't know. I don't see a reconciliation energy. I just see um, an adventure in love. And I feel as though, as soon as I said love, out comes knock, knock. <laughs> Love's knocking on your door here. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I have to do one more. Leo, there we go over your shoulder yeah there's that leap of faith yeah it's telling you reflect on past relationships where you didn't do things where you leaped into things before right knock knock that spirit tapping you on the shoulder right if they want to come to your house and you're not comfortable like that's all what you're comfortable with everyone's going to be a little different if you don't want things to go too quickly because i see crazy chemistry i see a lot of romance but i also see the fears Okay, and I don't think you have a lot to be afraid of if you speak up. So pick up after yourself, which tells me you are responsible for communicating what, you, what you're comfortable with and not comfortable with. Okay, take care. Bye for now.